Hello everyone, we are going to look at a lesson on measuring length. So here I have a scenario. I'm going to use this scenario to explain concept on measurement. Okay, the story goes like, Carl needs to measure the window of a, the width of a window to find out how much material he must buy to make a curtain. The curtain material cost 55 rand per meter on sale. Sold only in full meters. Okay, they're saying that you can't buy half meter, you have to buy full meters. So, the first question says, Carl measures the width of the window and find it to be 225 centimeters long. Okay, our first problem. The material is sold in meters. And when he was measuring it, he used centimeters, maybe a tape measure that has centimeters. So he got 225 centimeters. So we need to convert these centimeters to meters to, to be able to see how much is he going to buy. Okay, let's go to a conversion table that works every time and makes our lives very easy. When you convert from kilometers to meters, you multiply by 1,000. From meters to centimeters, you multiply by 100. From centimeters to millimeters, you multiply by 10. So when you, kilometers are bigger than meters, you multiply. But when you go from a smaller unit to a bigger one, you divide. So when I'm from millimeters going to centimeters, I'm going to divide by 10. From centimeters to meters, I divide by 1,000. From meters to kilometers, I divide by, no, by 100 and then by 1,000. It's not that difficult. You memorize it's 1,110. From a bigger one to a smaller one, you multiply. From a smaller one to a bigger one, you divide. Okay, let's look at our question and see how we use this table. The first question was, how many meters of the material does he need to buy? But when he measured, he used centimeters, not meters. So we need to convert these centimeters to meters first. So 225 centimeters. We're going to convert them to meters. Now we can go to our table. Centimeters going to meters where centimeters are smaller than meters. Then we're going to divide by 100. We go divide by 100. Then you take your calculator. You say 225 divide by 100 you get 2,25 meters. So 225 centimeters is equals to 2,25 meters. You need, when you're writing your exam, you need to quickly write this, write, write everything and then use it so that you don't make mistakes. You divide by a hundred. So how many meters must he buy? He must buy 2,25 meters. But you remember in the shop, they said they only sell full meters. So if he buys two meters, they'll be short. So he needs to buy three meters. So the correct answer here, he needs to buy three meters, not two meters. When he buys two meters, half of the window will not be closed. Uh, for number two, how much will the material cost? Okay, you remember in mess, you need to write what you're writing. Cost of material is equals to three meters of material multiplied by each meter cost 55 grams. So three times 55, he'll actually pay 165 grams. So the, the important thing in this lesson, what I want to teach you in this lesson is this conversion factor. Please memorize it and use it all the time. It's not that difficult. 100, 1000, 110. Kilometer, meter, centimeter. From kilometer to meter, thousand. From meter to centimeter, hundred. From centimeter to millimeter, ten. And then from a smaller one to a bigger one, you divide. From bigger one to smaller one, you multiply. Okay, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.